Hi, this is Beatrice Leonard right here for On the Move with Travis with Disabilities Having Fun. I have an author to date that I think is just tea totally awesome. I've loved every one of her four books, and I can honestly say, and this is Scout's honor, that I have read all of her books a minimum of three times, and that's the honest goodness too. Girls Most Likely, I think, is a wonderful book, and Dancing on the Edge of the Roof is terrific, and the other ones on, on the other side, I can't get it straight, but that's where Juanita is, but I'm not going to worry about it. So here's our guest, Sheila Williams, and Sheila Williams, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> I was trying to get it all out, but I you have did. to. Honest to goodness, I have read those books. I think that I could play the part for all of your characters because I have memorized everything they have said. Oh, good. <laughs> That's very encouraging. <laughs> the book, Girls Most Likely, from a lot of us have friends that we've been knowing since kindergarten or somewhere there in grammar school and high school. And, and some of us have uh, moved to different areas or different places or sometimes, you know, friendship changes and we don't have the same interests or sometimes we have disagreements. And unfortunately, we don't correct those or heal those disagreements. And we sit back and think about how we really miss that friend and we go down memory lane of some of the things that we used to do. And I found Girls Most Likely to be a book that everyone should give to their best friend or if you're healing a friendship or to your best sister if you have a bunch of sisters. This is a book that they should have. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time and writing that book. Well, it's a book that's very special to me. Um, Friends are the treasures of the heart. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing like a friend who knows what you were like in fourth grade. Mm -hmm, <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. um, I wrote the book initially starting it as Girl Most Likely, and then my girlfriends on the publication of my third novel took me out after a book signing in Columbus, Ohio. And these were girls I went to high school with, and I was having a grand time listening, reminiscing. We were talking about people, mm -hmm, just, mm -hmm. just having a great time. And all Absolutely. of a sudden I realized... It couldn't be girl most likely. It had to be girls most likely. And I changed Absolutely. the focus of the story and went from there. I am so happy that you did. And again, it's a healing book because when you think about um, uh, Renee, Rini rather, I'm sorry, yep, Rini, Rini. Mm -hmm. and, and how Vaughn was the mediator to keep them together. And, and, and um, oh gosh, Susan... You know, feeling betrayed with Rini, you know, because the da 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 for those who didn't read the book, I'm not going to tell you. You got to go get it and read it yourself. I mean, that healing part right there is the part where I feel so strongly that if you have a friend and you all are not speaking because of whatever, get this book. Get the book. Sometimes you have to let go of all that baggage at some point it's not productive to keep carrying it around anymore. absolutely absolutely you have to empty those suitcases out and move on you're absolutely correct now i'm getting to juanita yeah my girl dancing yes. on the edge of the roof now see she's a mom a yes. single mom yes that has some trifling children. <laughs> <laughs> I like that word, don't you? <laughs> uh huh. I enjoyed using it. When, when you're from the South, that's our word, <laughs> trifling children. And my girl decided that she had a life and she was going to live it. Juanita. I mean, she's just great. How, what what made you do Miss Juanita? And I'll tell you something else. I'm feeling her man, and I know I ain't supposed to, <laughs> but I just want to tell you. <laughs> Juanita came out of one of those days that we all have where it starts off in the toilet, so to speak. You That's know, you right. You get up, you're half an hour late already. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't find the pantyhose or the pants you were going to wear have a you know a stain on them. You don't mm -hmm. have enough milk in the refrigerator. You don't have enough gas in the car. And then as you're halfway to work, the youngest child says, oh, mommy, my stomach hurts, and you know where it goes from there. Absolutely. And it's one of those days, and you get to work and think, you know what, I think I'm just going to to get out of here for a while and it just sort of grew the story grew from there i wanted to write about an ordinary woman who really doesn't have any aspirations but one day she's just had all she can take and she says you know what these kids can take care of themselves i am going to have an adventure and she goes well, Miss Sheila Williams, I want to thank you so much for taking the time and being with us today. 
here with, uh, on the move with Travis with Disabilities, having fun. Thank you for inviting me. I want to thank all of my listeners for joining us today. And I'm telling you guys, honestly, you got to get Girls Most Likely and get my other books, too. But if you're having a hard time with your friends and, and you guys are trying to hook up and get back together again, use this as a peace offering. I'm telling you, it will be the best thing that you can do. And I want to tell everyone to have a marvelous and wonderful, fantastic, fabulous book experience. This is Beatrice and have a pleasant day.